Hey guys, here with Making News, and this is a Arya Bud Attack deck. I'm trying out this new card, it's not very good, I have to say. It's basically never done anything yet, uh, but can't resist trying stuff out when it comes to see if it can be salvaged at all. So this open area is a little bit scary, I think. Nah, I don't like the kitty and the food in the opening hand, we'll throw it back. Okay, this is decent. We've got some ice, which is what you want to see. Okay. Do we leave HQ open? I think we actually leave HQ open. We're going to push the breaking news out, and hopefully we'll take the food and we can swap it. Or we'll give them the data pool and we can swap it. A few ways that can go. Or we can all seeing eye his entire board, which would be very appealing if he's got a, like a Proco and an Aesop and a bunch of stuff. Breaking news is right now probably the second best agenda in the game. The first best still being Astro Script. But the amount of plays you can do against runners that are predominantly running resources is just amazing. And with Exchange, it's gotten to be a wing edition on its own. I'd say certainly better than everything except maybe Astro. CSMC, okay. Uh, let's actually not do that right yet. Let's money up a little bit. Do we leave our HQ open again? Probably we do. I hate putting the Gutenberg on server one because it's so much better on the R&D. He's probably gonna get David to deal with that. So what is happening here? It's bizarre he can install another copy of that hardware from his grip. Okay, that's uh, kind of janky. You have to have it in your grip, so if, maybe if you have Replicator you can do more with this card. But it seems like a tough deck slot to justify compared to anything else. Okay, so he's going to have like a ton of spy cameras at one influence each. Okay. Okay, draw off the sports hopper clicklessly. Throw stuff in the board, check for R&D run, then run. Okay. I can see where he's going with that. I don't want any of these cards. Is he going to ace up or is he going to use them in one of the tech trader? SMC is going in the bin. Lots of regular breakers. Corroder even. No lady. Okay. Has the levy though, so what is he playing Corroder for? Very interesting decks to so far. So we're gonna get our pad online. Well, this is kind of a weird Euroboros. It's expensive. Um would he I don't think he's gonna trash this actually. At least not right away. Can't really afford to play Manhunt. Hate pitching Kitty though. I think I'm gonna pitch Kitty. Hopefully he'll just dirtle forever and not check the archives till we get a Jackson on the board. Got our breaking news in wait for him to do something, but he's got the power of do nothing behind him. Which is actually an issue for our deck. So the reason this idea isn't played more, uh, when two credits is actually pretty good for an ID power, is that you ha can't use them most turns. As you can see, we haven't done a single thing with these so far, unless you've got Manhunt running, or you've got Data Pool in your score area. 
you can't really trace when the court wants to trace. You're tracing when the runner wants you to trace. All the controls on their side. So look at this fanciness. You must have tech trader, right? Or is he going to pawn them all? So that is quite the setup he has. Do we blow up this tech writer now? I almost think we wait. Maybe it's greedy. But he has zero credits, so what can you do in one turn? This is a deck idea I'd looked at the Bizarre Replicator spy camera and I was like, eh, I think it's too janky. Slow setup. If we had Astro, to be scoring Astro already, probably. Because he can't even afford to clot us, so I kind of think it's too slow. Unfortunately, we're kind of hoping he would run, let us do some tracing. Didn't happen. Sharpshooter, totally relevant right now. Yeah, he's going real slow. There's a tech trader. Hey, tech trader. Goodbye. I was hoping he put like three or all three of them out at once. And I would just nuke his entire board, make him. He has levy though, so he's gonna be able to do the second 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 pass. But for now, he's been slowed down a lot. Man, I can't give away agendas to this guy. Lucius must be doing something good for us. Can we put this in server one? I guess. See, Manhattan's so expensive, I kind of am loath to play it without having an econ card in hand. Three bucks is heavy. Especially when they're playing a cheap current themselves, like he could have employee strike for a buck. this oh net chip okay he's gonna just put all those out with his bazaar though we have now ruined his plans double deus ex okay because the tech trader i got it fair enough well man i guess i keep drawing okay arya bot is all right the Psycho is probably hard to land. Don't need Archangel again. We, we need the money. We're gonna need the exchange. So we can afford to play Manhunt next turn. I guess we can throw one exchange. Typically you get one exchange and you're good. Or at least we'll tide you over. Like if we manage to swap the, the data pool in our square, yeah, we're, we're in great shape. You must have 
what Panchatantra? He's playing all these sharpshooters. I don't know what to think now. Yeah, really no idea what he's up to. Well, we'll fire up Manhunt, see if he wants to make any runs before turn 11. So the one right now would have been really good. There's our data pool. I mean, can we give it away? <laughs> I guess we can jam it in server three and start advancing it, technically. Yeah, here we go. Fire off the manhunt. Trace four. He'll lose a buck. He's going to get a data pool. And he's fallen into our cunning trap of handing him a three pointer. So we ended up paying three to give him the tag and make him lose a buck. I guess we got a buck back from the Argabata, so kind of a wash. He's probably thinking, what is happening right now? Well, it's the good thing. Exchange of information. Probably my new favorite card in Netrunner. Just being able to actually play five threes in a deck and not feel like an idiot is pretty great. Global food is taking over the game. And it's not even in faction for anybody. It's just a neutral card. In my opinion, neutral agenda should be weaker than the in faction ones. So they're, not, they're not used everywhere. But they kind of messed up and didn't do that. Avoid the first tag during each run. This is actually a pretty good res, I think. Is it? We go to five, we can still res Gutenberg. And if we fire the two traces that succeed, we'll, we'll actually get $2 back and they'll lose two. So he has to break this almost. But what does he have? Probably nothing. It's not AP or a destroyer. Oh, baby. Drain his money. Now if we actually pay one, we'll guarantee it. He used his hopper. I mean he could have had four link by three link by now, right? If he kept all his hoppers. But I think he needs them for draw, so can't really be avoided using them, I guess. Yeah, it's it's pretty much game over here. What can we do? We can psycho. And we're going to see this Aryabata actually do a thing for the first time because he's so low. Uh, all right, so we'll throw the data pool. I don't think he's got Hades shard. So we need to draw site graphics now is what needs to happen. Yeah, good for him, killing the Aryabata. I guess we could archive the site graphics. We also need to have an agenda. So let's see if we can find one piece 
That's what we need. I think we just pitch all these cards. Yeah. Okay, we are not going to need these pads. Art is pretty good. This is, I don't know, this is still pretty expensive, but it was good the first time, so I think he doesn't have any breakers that can deal with it. The clothes we'll keep in reserve. This should be okay for us. To his credit, he's going to play it out. We could trash his tech turrets, but it's almost not worth our actions. There is the Pancha. We can maybe just install a food in this remote. Let's score it that way. We don't draw agenda. Oh, now we can double archived. There's basically no way he can get into this server, so let's fetch our food. And we'll fetch the psycho also. So we should have a next turn. I don't think he's got a way out. spend on that. Should have waited to the uh, action phase, but oh well, we get a kitty. We probably could let him have the data pool as well. But then he we would risk him going to R and D and find some, something exciting for him. Panches. So I think we're going to trace here. Oh, I can't type today. Once you get data pool, you're in good shape. And if you don't get data pool, you pretty much lose. So this game is, or this deck is pretty unstable, but I like it. It's something different to play. So let's trace him to six to keep him out. I don't think he can do anything. Oh, he's on hill anymore, so he can't even do the the install from hand trick. Right. So really we could have paid five and just raise this caduce just to stop him that way. Alright. He gets two box bucks off the clone ship install, so that's pretty cool. Looks like Haley probably still triggers, which is what this little thing is showing. He's going to have to do the close prom manually quite often. Uh, used chip earlier. There's a chip here. Okay, we're good then. Okay, 
There we go. Now he's at zero, so we're gonna get our money and kick him out. Yeah, this deck feels a little slow to me. What did I do last turn? Did I not get my site graphics out with the Argot Memories? I didn't. I clicked the wrong card. <laughs> well, Archive for Archives makes sense. Yeah, this ice was super old school back in the day. It used to be a fun little ice, though it was always pretty expensive. Yeah, so we're doing okay with this deck right now, but it's definitely not the greatest deck. I've played against Ben Blum, and he knows the, de the deck in the matchup, and just slaughtered me. And I felt like I, I was never even in the game. I think Kate, like a regular Kate build these days with Hyperdriver Proko, should be able to beat it basically every time. But it's definitely neat to try the card out, see what happens. Nice to see data pool again after a long time. Thanks for the game. We're watching, guys.